All right, so what uh, what we're doing on this live, I was doing this a little earlier. I put a bunch of rings in my tumbler to get them all nice and shiny. Some of them are older rings that I've made, and some of them are rings that are going out to customers soon. So we'll take a look at the ones we've already pulled out. We've got two peace dollars here. We've got a walking liberty. This one I've been wearing personally lately. This is a thinner quarter band experiment I've been working on. There's another Walking Liberty half dollar. And these are actually on sale right now for the rest of the month. 90% silver half dollars are $25 off. This is a nickel experiment I did. This is a fine silver one ounce fill harmonic round. It's got a bunch of cool musical instruments on there. There's a French horn up on the top here. See that? That's pretty cool. This one is, let's get really close. It's got cool details. This one's a Libertad. I believe it's from 19, yeah, 1983. I've got 83, 84, and 85 in these. I haven't sold any of these yet, but I think they're really cool. Lots of neat detail on it. And there's a, there's text on the edge here instead of like, like with a quarter. You have this reeded edge. Or half dollars, you got a reeded edge. With the Libertads, the older ones, they've got Libertad written on there. It's pretty cool. Really nice, thick, chunky ring, too. I like that one a bunch. But we've got some more here in the tumbler that we're going to pull out. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we get. There's quite a few rings in here. This one is a Susan B. Anthony dollar with the tail side out. I've usually done these with the, the year facing out. You can see the year on the inside there. But another ring maker recommended I try it with the tail side out and I do really like it. It's pretty cool. So I'll have to add that as an option. So this is just hot water and uh, Dawn dish soap. And then it's got like tumbler medium in there. Let me show you. It's like little tiny BBs and then these UFO looking things. And they, they work really well. What does an old silver dollar look like? That would be like a peace dollar. Like this one. This one's from 1922. And I've got some Morgans in here too. He says peace on the inside there. It's pretty cool. Those are 200. And they're 90% silver. Here's another Walking Liberty. This one's not quite finished. It's still got a bit of a cone shape to it. I should finish this one up. No, I haven't. If anybody else has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Um, I'm a pretty chatty dude. Usually I'm making coin rings, but uh, on this particular live, I'm just drying off some I just polished up. This one is an American Eagle from 2008. Sorry, my lighting makes these details tricky when these things are super shiny like this. One ounce fine silver. We got these in a couple years. And they make really nice thick coins. Uh, I'm all caught up on orders. So if anybody wants to order a coin ring and see it made on this live, hop over to the website. The link's in my profile. Or you can tap on this gold chain down here by the chat. That'll pull up some products. And uh, if I get an order in, we'll, we'll make something. Right now, I'm just cleaning up these that just shined up. This one's going out to a customer. This is a Delaware Quarter, size seven and a half. And they actually got the center punch keychain with it too. So that's pretty cool. That's the center of the Delaware Quarter there. Pretty nice. Let's set that over there. 
see what else we've got in here. It's a size 13. 1994 quarter. This is as big as I can get quarters. It's pretty big. No, I don't clear coat them. I recommend that people put clear fingernail polish on it. Uh, you have to do it a little more frequently, but it's more comfortable. And uh, if you're worried about the copper turning your skin green, I do offer 90% silver like state quarters and other quarters and half dollars and dollars. The Morgan, yeah, they're 200. There's there's some in here, I just gotta fish them out. There's a bunch of rings. We'll get to it, I'm sure. I'll look for a bigger one next time. This is a experimental band size for quarters. It's a little thicker than I usually do, but it's it caught a lot more detail. Like you can see all the words of, of I think it's quarter, quarter centennial right across there. Usually that gets cut off a little more Jamestown. So that's something I might add pretty soon. There's different band sizes, band thicknesses. Let's see here. Where are the Morgans? There's one. This soap is too much. So I think they're just under an ounce. Gosh, this one shined up really nice. Eighteen ninety Morgan dollar. Good looking ring. It's a good one. And this is what the Morgan dollars look like with the tail side out. Get the In God We Trust. I can like wear right on the top of your ring. It's nice and symmetrical. Looks really good. So there's the Morgans. I like them a bunch. What else we got? We got Another slightly larger experimental quarter band size. This one is going out to a customer. That's a Louisiana state quarter size nine. Nice and shiny. You can actually see the light shining off it on my finger. That's good. Louisiana. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to get this to focus in on. Yeah? I'll give you a follow, man. It's always nice to meet another coin ring maker. Shoot me a message, bro. This one's a really thin quarter band. What does it CLS? Not sure what you mean. Louisiana. This one, I cut the reed off. 
which was pretty interesting, but it also messed up a lot of the state on there, and it didn't come out all the way. The biggest quarter size I can do is a 13. I've got one over here. It's a 1994 size 13. Let's see, cost if I supply the coins. It's exactly the same. So, like, if you send me a Morgan dollar, or if I use one of my own Morgan dollars, it's two hundred dollars. the The price is flat, uh, whether it's my coin or your coin. What kind of coin uh, do you have in mind? I can give you a a better estimate. This is a quarter ounce fine silver Walking Liberty round. Did you end up thinking of a way to reset? No, I ended up just bunching it up. Like, I, I messed it up. That That's definitely uh, something to ponder on, though. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I think the band might just be too thin to really do anything with. Is that Susan B. Anthony? Nice. One more in here, maybe two. There's the other Louisiana. And if anyone's interested in getting a coin ring from me or just checking out some of my products, there's a little gold link down by the chat. Y'all just click on that, check it out. Uh, if you see something you like and place an order, I will get to work on it and you can watch your ring get made step by step. I don't know anywhere else on TikTok you can see that, so I think it's pretty cool. Uh, if anybody's interested, let me know. Looks like we still got two more in here. Price, uh, it depends on the coin and what kind of metal it's made out of. You can see all my pricing on my website which is linked on my profile, or by checking out the gold link by the chat. Sounds good, man. It's a North Carolina quarter. And this one is a half dollar, the tail side out. Kennedy half dollar from 2020. Double check, see if you missed anything. I think that's all of them. Look at all those puppies. So nice and shiny. I need to put the lid back on this thing so I don't knock it over. But I don't know where I put it. There it is. All right, guys, I got all these shined up. I am ready to make a coin ring. If anybody wants to get a coin ring, visit the website linked on my profile. You can use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. You can also shop through the gold chain down here by the chat. Lots of different types of cool coin rings. I can make them all different sizes, size just for you, down to half sizes. I've got copper, 90% silver, fine silver, big coins, little coins. All kinds of different designs. So go check them out. I really want to make something for somebody today. So if you're interested and uh, you want to get yourself a ring or a ring for a loved one, uh, go check out the store. It's linked on my profile. And like I said, the gold chain down here. And these, we're just going to kind of put away the ones. Is that Morgan again? It's a great ring. One of my favorites. There's the Libertad. Fine silver. American Eagle. Another fine silver. 
quite a few years available on this one. Thank you very much. Philharmonic. Susan B. Anthony. Let's find that other one. There's head and tail side out on Susan B. Anthony. And there's my peace dollars. Peace. Walking Liberty Half Dollar from 1944. 90% silver coin. Inside Out Morgan from 1886. See how that's still a little too big. Fits well on this one. Look at those Morgan beauties. So nice. Alright. I'll just put up the rest of these here. And then just make a ring for kicks. Unless somebody's interested in getting something. Let me know. We'll just make something for fun. Those are the three going out to customers. All right, for the just for fun section, we have three half ounce rounds we can choose from. What are we thinking? Do we want to do Indian Head? Do we want to do Imitation Morgan? Or do we want to do the Flowing Hair Wheat Penny? I'm about to make one of these into a ring. Usually I make customers orders. Uh, if you'd like to order a coin ring and see it get made on the live, go to my website and place your order and we'll make it for you. Uh, I don't have any orders, so I'm just going to make one of these for fun. Uh, anybody want to pick? I'm leaning slightly towards this one. What are we thinking? Indian guy. Alright, there's one vote. Anybody want to see the Morgan or the... Uh Indian? All right, we'll do the Indian. That sounds good. So this is a half ounce fine silver round. It's pretty cool. It's got a buffalo on the back. And we're going to make this into a ring. If you guys are excited about that, please tap the screen. We've got 145 likes. I know this live has been a little slow, so we're going we're gonna to pump it up. What's the size? Usually when I'm making um, like demo rings like this one, I will size them to myself, which is about a nine and a half. It's a little over a nine and a half. It's like nine and three quarters. So it'll be the same size as uh, this Morgan when we're done with it. Bam. 
Say bye bye. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is punch a hole in it. For that, we need a big metal plate thing. There we go. It's called a stamping block. And it makes punching holes a lot easier than just doing it on this wood. And we're gonna put a little bit of paper towel down on the inside. It's gonna help protect the details on this coin. A little bit on the back there. Tighten the sucker down. All right, I was at 400 likes. Thank you guys very much. If anyone has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Let's hammer through this sucker. This is going to be a half inch punch for anyone who's curious. That's like my go-to size. That's the one I like the most. Your size 12. I can do that. There's our buffalo's belly. And our Indian's little, I don't know what you call that, his, his hair, <laughs> his ponytail. Yeah, I got you. I can do size 12 in pretty much anything. Quarters and up. Do you want this one in a size 12? Because we could do that. Can make it just for you. These half ounce ones come out really nice. That's a good size. Get a good amount of detail without it being too heavy. Yeah, this is a fine silver round. These are 150. See down here it says... 0.999 silver. What happens to the center you knock out? So there's a couple options. When you order a ring, you can get just the ring. You can get the ring and the center punch. You can get... I usually don't have a demo of these, but you can get a uh, center punch keychain like this. Or you can get a pin that it'll fit on like your hat or your, your shirt, your collar. Not everybody gets them, but when they do, they usually get them as keychains. I think they're pretty cool. Yeah, no rush, man. So after we punch a hole in our coin. It's pretty sharp right here. So we're gonna clean that up and smooth it out a little bit. This is called a deburring tool. And it's like a curved blade that uh, rotates. So it makes it really easy to clean up the inside of circular metal objects uh, like coin rings. There we go. Now we get it nice and smooth and shiny in there. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of fire to soften this silver up. And we'll start folding it. Ooh. Camera is twisting. There we go. 
So what I'm looking for here is the flame. You see it's kind of blue right now. We're looking for it to turn kind of a darker orange. It's when you get enough heat feedback from the coin that I, I, I know the coin is hot enough. I've seen a couple different methods to figure out how hot to heat your coin so you don't overdo it. But you see that orange right there? That means it's good. And we've still got really nice solid detail on there we don't have like blistering that's what we want and we'll go ahead and dip it in this water here now we can start folding it look at that that looks great Off to a good start, I would say. So I heat it up and cool it down to soften the metal. It also makes it less brittle. As we're about to start bending and shaping it quite a bit. And the softer and less brittle it is, the it reduces the chances of us uh, splitting it and cracking and making it so it, it can't be a ring. So the biggest trouble spot when doing this is what's called the cut edge, which is right here where we punch that center out. It, if we develop any splits or cracks here as we start stretching it, those will get bigger and bigger and split all the way up the ring. How much for a coin with 1989 on the outside rim? Uh, what I can do for that would be a copper quarter from 1989. Uh, that would be $20. And I may have a fine silver one ounce American Eagle from 1989. That would be 300. Let me double check. I thought I saw one yesterday. Yeah, so I've got one 1989 American Eagle. So you could do a $20 ring or a $300 ring. I'm sorry, I don't have much in between for that, that year. Now we got this slightly folded. We're going to fold it a little bit more. Where do you take your orders at? Through my website. Uh, it's linked on my profile. Or you can go to buycoinrings.com if you don't want to shop through TikTok. I'll take you right, right to my store. Yeah, no problem. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'm happy to help. What I'm trying to do is get it so it will fit inside this die. It looks like we got it right there. Well, this should finish out our cone folding. I really like the feathers. It's going to be cool. So like I said earlier, this cut edge is, is the trouble area uh, where most of the splits occur. So what I'm going to do now is sand that and make it nice and smooth. 2,600 locks on this live. Thank you guys very much. Do -ba -do -do -do. This is uh, like a little nail file block. I like them a bunch because they're easy to handle. And sandpaper gets tore up really easily and these are actually pretty tough
What I would suggest is visiting a jewelry store and getting sized there. Uh, it should be free, fast, and accurate. So if you have one nearby, that's that's what I would recommend. I am curious, um, are you thinking about getting the American Eagle or the Quarter? I'd be happy to make you either one, I'm just curious. The Quarter. Right on, right on. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. It, they're they're a little pricier. That's that's true. Okay. So now we got this nice and softened up here. We're going to stretch it out just a little bit. And to do that, we're going to go over to the ring stretcher. Say hello, ring stretcher. Just a little bit of paper towel here. Oh, nice. I'm glad to hear it. So now what we have to do is make this uh, smaller. I'm gonna wrap it in some tape. How's it fit? So I got kind of a uh, a baffling review. It was actually uh, two reviews. Somebody had ordered two rings. They said they were not pleased with my craftsmanship and that the rings were the wrong size. So I'm I'm super confused. I tried to reach out to him and say I'd be happy to remake his rings or refund them. I haven't heard back. But it's, I don't know, I find it hard to believe, because, like, I do this every day. I really try to get the ring sizes nice and accurate, and the ring's looking good. It's like the first negative feedback I've had in quite a long time. Caught me off guard. So, I'm glad you like your ring. That's, I don't know, it, it kind of feels like it. But he actually ordered rings, like I went back and looked, and he ordered two rings. They were size 11, so they shouldn't have been, like, weird shaped or anything. I don't know. It's weird. So he was not impressed with my craftsmanship. I was like, man. Kind of hurt my feelings. And that they were the wrong size. Which is like... I, I I know sizing. Like I've been doing this for three years. Like I can get a ring to the right size. I'm so confused. I think maybe almost like he doesn't know his own ring size. So like they don't fit because he asked for the wrong size. Like I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I, I'm honestly not sure what happened. I'm perplexed. Um, no, he didn't leave pictures on the review. 
but like he got he got two quarter coin rings and like he got one with a specific date and one that's a stake quarter and he left a review on both listings like three stars which isn't terrible like okay three stars whatever but then the text got to me i was like not impressed with my craftsmanship and the rings are the wrong size this is it's hard to believe Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried clear fingernail polish? On the cards I send out, there's there's a couple jewelry tips. Uh, and I, I recommend putting clear fingernail polish on the inside of the ring. And that kind of reduces that, that green finger effect. Does that make sense? Just put a little clear coating on it. Yeah. It's on all my cards. Ring care tips. Uh, that, uh, you can polish it up with a polishing cloth. And down here, a small amount of clear fingernail polish can prevent it from a uh, green finger. Yeah. And you may have to reapply it maybe like once every two weeks or so. But it's it's a pretty cheap solution. And it works, it works pretty well. Now we're just going to even this up a little bit in here. And it's weird, like, some people don't get green finger at all. Like, some people aren't reactive to the copper. So they can wear it either way. And then some people are, like, super reactive to it. That looks nice. What do you guys think? Check the fit. Boom. I like it. Looks like it's still got a little lip on there. And take care of that a little later. We'll polish it up, make it a little shiny. And uh, if anybody out there in TikTok world, you've never seen me before, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings like this. I make a bunch of different types of coins into rings. And if you want to get one, go visit my website, coinringmaker.com, or my shop website, buycoinrings.com. Uh, it's linked in my profile, and you can also tap the little gold link down by the chat. If anybody has any questions, feel free to let me know. But if I don't get an order here in about a minute or two, I'm probably going to hop off because I do have some things to ship out. Uh, but if you have a question or you'd have like to get a coin ring let me know it depends on the coin so they start out at $20 for a regular copper quarter. Uh, this one right here is a half ounce fine silver round. They're $150. Uh, currently on sale are, let's see here, 90% silver, half dollars. These are $25 off for the rest of the month. Got Kennedy, Franklin, and Walking Liberty, half dollars. Uh, as well as 90% silver quarters, which are 100. And uh, Morgan dollars like this, those are 200. And then really, really big fat rounds, like this one. This is made from a one ounce fine silver round, those are 300. Are your tools a press made for ring making or utility tools? So I have, uh, some tools that are specific for coin ring making and some that are just kind of utility tools uh, like this hammer but i do have like 
Now, this is a ring stretcher specifically for making rings. There's another ring stretcher. And then this is a one-ton arbor press. So you can use this for a lot of different things, but I use it a bunch for making uh, rings. Oh no, I need to I need to fix those reviews. I need to flip those back around. You're right. Unless you just want to go leave some more. I don't know. <laughs> that would probably be easier. But yeah, I do need to I do need to fix that. Anybody else got any questions? I think this came out really nicely. Look at the, the definition of detail on his face. That's cool. Nice, clean, reeded edge. The buffalo head on the inside there. Back legs. I really like these feathers. I think that's really cool. We'll take a really close look over here so y'all can get a good idea of the details on it. Because it's really clean. Yeah, that's a nice ring. I like that one. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't yet, give me a follow. Uh, check out the shop store website thingy. It's on my profile. It's also cornerringmaker.com, buycornerings.com. Use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. Uh, shop the Memorial Day sale. All 90% silver half dollars are $25 off. And uh, I'll catch you next time. If I get an order that comes in later today, I'll probably hop back on live and make it. So if you'd like to see that, uh, go check out the store. See you later. Bye.